Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week on my YouTube. And for this series, we're talking about all things metaphysics and the occult and spiritual teachings and so, so much more. But for this video, we're doing something a little bit different because as I say in every video, I tend to like film and talk about things that I'm actually dealing with and lately I've been dealing with a lot of annoying little fuckery okay I'm going to be very careful with my words because I'm not trying to offend anyone or anything like that and I'm definitely not trying to like put my triggered reactions out there but at the same time I feel like this is something that so many of us deal with in so many different ways that it's really really important to actually talk about and kind of not just help each other but like actually encourage each other to do better and be better including myself you know and like for some reason every time I post on TikTok and even on Instagram I keep getting stupid little comments on there and I know like our world is our mirror so obviously it is a lesson for me to learn how to stand in my power and not let other people's perceptions and projections shift me off of who I am and like my vibration that I want to be on and all that kind of stuff you know so I know it's a test and it's a lesson so I figured I would come on here and show you my lesson because I always talk about how we need to look for the lesson and pay attention to what the lesson is and like work through it and all of that but I think actually showing you how I work through it myself might help some of you in a way because we are all getting tested every day all over the place but one of the things I think that a lot of us deal with is connections and interactions with other people you know like our relationships that's exactly why I've done a relationship series on this channel which is one of the other series that I do because it's literally what this world is you know it's connection it's perception and combining the two I guess so I'm sure you're very aware that trolls and hate and all of that kind of stuff exists and I've been paying attention to these stupid comments that I keep getting because I want to like understand where they're coming from you know like because everything is perception so they're coming from a certain angle of perception so I wanted to understand exactly what that is so that I can then respond better because of course it's triggering the shit out of me and making me just want to like insult people and just you know like give them a piece of my mind because you're coming into my space and saying something negative or insulting me or the main one keeps being about my makeup like I like wearing makeup okay if I want to wear makeup I will fucking wear makeup but obviously I'm not gonna um reply with that on the comments because for one thing a lot of it is on TikTok and there's only a certain character limit and I'm not going to sit there trying to write essays to people to get them to leave me alone so I understand that by putting myself out there I'm gonna obviously draw in different types of perception and apparently people don't like it when you wear makeup but whatever so yeah I was just trying to like figure out where people are coming from and I realized I mean it's something that I've always known is that we obviously project our internal situation onto people and this keeps happening in a lot of different ways not just with makeup but with certain things that I'm talking about and stuff because obviously on social media I'm just posting little snippets like it's not the full video the full video is here on YouTube I can't put a like 10 minute 20 minute 50 minute video on TikTok or on Instagram because it just won't fit. I just realised I slapped my leg then and it probably picked up on the microphone. <laughs> that really, <laughs> that just made me feel really weird right then. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so I can't put like the full video on there. So you're literally seeing like a 20 second clip of a full video. So people automatically just jump to a million conclusions based on that 20 seconds and start like writing full essays of disrespectful shit when they haven't for one thing they haven't watched the full video for another thing they don't have a clue who I am so how can you comment on something 
and try and tell me what I think and how I perceive things when you don't know me like it doesn't make any sense and even if you did know me you're not in my brain you're not in my mind you're not in my thoughts you're not in my emotions so you have no fucking clue do you know what I mean and I see this everywhere not just with um people that are online or celebrities or public figures or whatever it's not just um with like trolling comments with them but it can be in our own friendships in our own family situations like everywhere you know even in like work situations and with colleagues and stuff it's all about us sharing our perceptions so a lot of the time we can be misunderstood or people will take one little thing that you've said and run with it a million miles and not hear your intent, not hear how you actually meant it or what you actually meant, you know, and they just kind of run with it with their own perception. And this is why, like, this is literally why I sit here and make all of these videos talking about our emotions and our triggers and doing the shadow work and healing ourselves. Because when you do that and you understand what things trigger you and you understand what kind of traumas you've been through and stuff, then when things happen like you're scrolling on instagram and you see a video that you don't like you'll just keep on scrolling you won't feel the need to go and comment on it and insult the person just because you didn't understand or you didn't like what they're saying based upon the way that you interpret it based upon your experiences your perception and outlook on life you know like the way that we perceive things is affected by the things that we go through the experiences that we have so like you might not like something and then somebody else may look at it and love that thing you know like our perceptions are just so different and it's exactly the same with like um the content that we consume or the clothes that we buy you know like the way that we decorate our house all of that is based upon our own perception so we can't be like just interjecting and projecting onto other people it's really annoying but i realize that this is exactly why i'm dealing with this lesson right now because it's irritating me <laughs> and obviously like those mirrors are going to come up for a reason and apparently right now i'm ready to face that mirror otherwise it wouldn't be happening so i'm um, learning how to not react to these things and take a minute and breathe and process and then decide how I want to respond rather than just like letting them have it you know so yeah I felt like it was necessary to talk about this because so many of us literally deal with this on a daily basis and like I said not just online so I think it's important to become aware of ourselves I feel like I'm gonna say this phrase forever and I know that so many people are but there's still just a few people that just pop up every now and then and they fully reveal themselves. And it's kind of funny to me because I don't think they realise that they're revealing themselves. Like they feel like they're attacking you and hurting you and insulting you, but they don't realise that they're actually just revealing themselves. <laughs> it's almost tragic, like you're literally showing the world where your perception is at and the types of things that make you react because you don't have control over your thoughts or emotions so it's really just key for all of us to learn how to take back our power and be in control of our own emotions but not just what our, what emotions come up because obviously you can't control that but being in control of how we handle them how we process them and then how we interact with the rest of the world you know so yes this was my nice little rant for you because it was stressing me out and it happened again today and i'm like why is this happening in so many days in a row <laughs> like just one after the other so clearly i'm supposed to learn this lesson and then it inspired this wonderful video so hopefully this helps you as well but yes i think if we just all were to be kind to each other you know like it costs nothing <laughs> literally costs nothing but apparently people like to project you know and that's all it is it's just projecting your own internal process thoughts emotions all of that stuff and then just like seeing something that instantly triggers a memory that you have or some kind of wound and then you lash out and act like it's that person's fault but it's actually something that's going on within you because it's a trigger towards your own perception your own memories your own thoughts you know
So yes, it's not personal and that is the lesson. We all need to stop taking shit so personally because it's not personal, it's about them. It's about them and themselves and not about you. And when somebody triggers you, it's about you. It's not about them, okay? So, oh shit. <laughs> That revelation just hit me. It is about me. They're getting triggered at me, which is completely fine. That's about them. But that trigger that's happening within me because they're insulting me and stuff, that is about me. And so I have to go and work on my own trigger situation that's going on so that I can respond better and not like lash out back at them you know because we don't have to meet hate and rudeness with more hate and rudeness we can actually stay in our power and stay being on the vibrational state of being that we want to be and mine is love and kindness and compassion and that's what I want to give back even though they're really starting to annoy me so I'm going to work on this trigger of annoyance and move it back to compassion okay so I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I really, really appreciate you. Don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to my music, my phone number, because I send daily inspirational, motivational text messages and WhatsApp if you're international outside of the UK, you can WhatsApp me as well. Um, also my merch is in the description box, my music. What else? I think that's everything. You can just check out the description box because it's all there. So I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, think you might. I'm the thing you like in my range, all white. Think he might, I'm the thing he like, pick my range, oh